in there nice and easy. If it doesn't go in perfect like that, you want to release it, flip it in the other way so it flips perfectly. It only fits in here one way. We can go ahead and hit power and that's hold down for three seconds. One, two, three. Put it on our control station legs. Actually set it on there. We then have a fairly level base so then we can turn our screws right here to level them up. We're gonna close the case. After we close the case, it's just a good idea to kind of tap it out of the way. Then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit power on my tablet. And as soon as I hit power on my tablet, I'm gonna wait for it to load. It'll take just a second. So it'll show you uh, your project name at the top and the floor you're on. We're on the sixth floor right now. So here we're just gonna go into layout points. We're gonna go immediately into our setup. It looks like our total station set up in the right spot, but it's not. So we're always gonna go right here to our setup. We're always gonna select anywhere, and then we're gonna level up our total station. When we go to level up our total station, we wanna match these two screws to this base. So we're gonna rotate this thing like so. And now you've got two screws that are flush, or parallel with this, and then we can just kinda of grab that back button, slide it in, all the check marks come on now, so then we can advance to the next and then we'll advance to the next. And now it simply says select a control point. So what we wanna do is we want to select the control point that matches. So I'm here, I'm gonna select this control point right here. And it's CP4, we'll go ahead and select that. Then we're gonna physically walk over to our control point. And these are control points that are supplied by the general contractor. So we want to make sure we're dead center over the point. Level up our legs by pushing one hand at a time on our level. Now after your level, you're going to come in here and you're going to hit your, uh, your prism type and go to make sure that your prism type is correct. And this is a Sokia prism, um, so it's going to look like that icon there. And then we're going to go to move and search and we're gonna tell it which way to go. Looking at the total station, we need it to spin right. So we're gonna select the right side. It's gonna spin around here and it's gonna lock on us right away as it's doing such. Now that it's locked on us, we're simply going to hit start, which is gonna allow that to start taking measurements. And then we're gonna hit store that point is stored, it turns orange, and then we're gonna select our next control point, which is just gonna be right over here, which is CP6. And then physically, we wanna to walk to it. When we walk to it, we wanna make sure that we walk nice and steady so the total station can find us uh, and continue tracking. And also, um, when you get really close to it, if you move too fast, it will lose track like we just did. So, it's okay, because then we can come over here, find our control point. Meanwhile, I walked over here when I walked too close to it, it says on the screen, measurement not possible. And that's because it was tracking a measurement and then stopped tracking the measurement. So we're gonna say okay to that. And we're simply gonna tell it to come find us, which is toolbox, move and search. And we need it to spin left this time. So we're gonna select left and it's gonna spin right over here and find us. Now, after it finds us, we are going to Simply select start, and that's gonna tell it to start measuring. I'm gonna glance at that level bubble and make sure that's good. And then I'm simply gonna hit store. After I hit store, it immediately tells me at the top, calculated within tolerance, but within tolerance doesn't mean it's good. So we wanna double check that by hitting the medallion. And we have zero inches by zero inches. So that means we're really good, obviously. Um, if these numbers vary around a half inch or something of the sort, we want to make sure that we shoot three control points to kind of tighten it up a little better. Uh, but right now we have good control, so we're going to hit check mark. And then we're going to hit this final check mark down here at the bottom. That is going to save our setup routine. Now after that, we're going to go right into our toolbox and select auto point select. And we're going to go to nearest and we're gonna turn that on. It's always defaulted to off, so we're gonna say on and hit the check mark there. Now, we just want to select any point on the screen. It doesn't matter what it is, and we hit start. 
after we do that, we then zoom into our location and it'll, it'll zoom in on the map to us and then we can see where we want to actually stake out. So now that it's tracking us, I'm going to walk over to this area where I know we need to do some layout. My map orientation has the building facing the wrong way. This arc side is on the other side. So we need to orientate the map properly. So I'm gonna hit the I, orientation, line, and right now we have this line selected. If you didn't have a line selected, you would just simply select a grid line only. And then we wanna make sure that the green flag is on the proper side. So now the green flag is up here and the checkered is down here. So that should reverse our whole map by simply hitting the check mark and now our map matches our structure and when I look at this now my total station is out here in front of us just like it looks. So now because of that I can select the point that's nearest to us which is a light point and it says go out 10 inches right two foot six. So this will just have us moving to the new location once I set it down, I'm gonna level up. And now that I'm level, it says out one inch by left three quarters. So out one inch, left three quarters. And then forward three eighths. And we're just gonna level up. So this one says a quarter by a quarter. And we'll, we will, with this, we will actually move it just a touch more so you can see that it is possible to uh, do correctly. So now we're level and we're within an eighth by a sixteenth. So we simply hit mark it on the ground. We label it uh, LTG for light and then we hit store. And then it says it's out of tolerance by elevation. That's okay. And immediately is uh, sending us to the next one, which is uh, left 17 feet and out two foot. So we'd quickly get to that location. And once we get here, it says left one foot, and right six, so we're not going to be actually able to stake this out because there is a piece in the way, but you would just go until you got to the location, hit store, and continue to go to the next point. If there's something you can't stake out, you just simply select another point on the screen and then physically move to that. So it says out 28 feet. us while walking so we're gonna go up to the top and go move and search select to the right it's gonna spin over and it's gonna lock on us right away and then the one button that we're gonna have to remember to hit in this case is the start button because if we move the information is not updating on the screen so you want to hit start it does update and it'll center you on the screen so you can kind of see where you're going. And the point is right behind us, two feet, 15 feet. So then we'll just walk back until we get to that location, which is right here. We will simply set it down, level up. It says left 11 16 5 8 in. And just a bump left and out. Not a level of touch, but now we're within our tolerance, so we would simply mark it on the ground and label it LTG again, hit store, accept, and move on to the next.